know, background checks, that's good because I probably couldn't pass one of those things. So. <laughs> An undercover operation into online gun sales found that 62% of private sellers were willing to break the law by peddling firearms to people who couldn't pass a federally mandated background check. Mayor Bloomberg announced the results of the sting, which was financed by New York City, at a press conference on Wednesday. It was evident that unscrupulous online gun sales pose a significant threat to public safety. Because this market is essentially unregulated, no information about internet sales would appear in trace reports about guns used in crimes. Investigators hired by the city searched 10 sites and contacted 125 sellers in 14 states. While negotiating purchases, they admitted that they couldn't pass the background check. Private sellers aren't required to perform the check, but it's a felony to sell the guns to questionable customers. No, I'm just a private person. Oh, well, that's good, because I probably couldn't pass one. So. Yeah. Anyway. I probably couldn't either. Officials said that only 48 of the 125 sellers obeyed the law. On the table before us are all the weapons our investigators purchased. One of them you may recognize from this week's news. It is a Ruger P95 9mm semi-automatic pistol. The same make and model of the weapon used to kill Officer Fagoski. This is the second time the mayor has sent undercover investigators out of state to buy illegal guns. He targeted gun shows in 2009. And to the critics who have suggested that New York might be overstepping its authority with the stings, the mayor had a blunt reply. Peter Fagoski was our police officer. We didn't overstep anything. And if I had to spend double that money to save one police officer's life, I would do it instantly. This is Brian Stillman with the New York Post.